Okay, so we're back. Now that we're back, let's go and well, let's select and let's change our production to 15 minutes because we're going to be engaged for 10 minutes or so in our next battle and subsequent uh, tutorial extension once we win the battle and acquire the province and use the expansion that we gain by acquiring the province to fulfill the other quest. Notice the other province has already been scouted. Okay, so we have one province left. We're going to attack it. We're going to infiltrate it. By infiltrating, we're weakening the strength, the offensive strength of the opposition. Okay? Alright, so let's attack. Use terrain and <coughs> the location of our units for our advantage. So the furthest reach is by the slinger, and you see the red split, the red piles is how far we can reach. Bring my units to the point where he cannot attack me in this first wave. Okay? So he cannot attack me here. So I basically have this land between these two guys. One unit, one square back.
But there are two types of units, attached and unattached. Attached are units I produced in my own military building, and they are attached to that building. When they get killed, I can rebuild them because they're attached. An unattached unit is a gift that I got that doesn't belong to any one particular building. And when the building goes, that unit stays. But when he dies, he cannot be replaced. And as you can see, we're getting the rewards for acquiring. Okay, place the expansion and place an expansion. So we have two separate quests asking us to do the same thing and by doing it one time we get double the rewards and one of the rewards is supplies and the other reward is coins. This does happen throughout the game from time to time. And let's go ahead and do that. Okay, as you see the spear spearhead building is giving me the opportunity to rebuild that unit I'm going to go to my build menu spearfighter barracks is still there but I'm going to go to my expansion menu and Use the reward expansion. And I'm going to place it here. And now you see, I get both rewards at the same time. And I collect them both. And initiate two new quests. Story quest and a side quest. Of course, it tells us in the side quest, in the story quest, to gather eight supplies. In the side quest, it asks us to scout the next province, which we already did. So it gives us the credit for it. So we collect. Now that we collect, it gives us the next. By the way, a side quest can be aborted. Most story quests cannot. Some can, there's specific ones that are special, but most cannot. People say, you cannot abort story quests. Not true. Very rare, but they do exist. All right, so we need to gather coins, and supplies, we gathered the coins. And then we need to research slingshots. Okay, so we gathered the coins already. Ah, because we went to a 15 minute supply production, I guess the 15 minutes are not up. So we haven't finished it, okay. So let's do the slingshot and unlock it. Here's slingshots. And you see this time, we paid the forge points, but we also required to unlock the technology by paying with coins. So it's a two-step process. All right, we've done it. And now we got our reward which is our coins. And now, the side quest tells us 
and it will reward us with a slingshot. Okay? So we need to build a slinger range. Okay? And it will give us two slingers. So we don't have to wait to build them. But we should build them as soon as we uh, gain. Always good to have attached troops when you already are forced to build the military barracks. Okay. And let's go and build our military barracks. And you see now that we unlock the technology, it provides us with an additional mil military building. And these buildings will always be available. Once the technology has been unlocked, that particular military type of building will always be available to be built. But it's going to take time to build the unit. In this case, one minute. Okay, that's not too bad. Okay, uh, let's see how long it's going to take us. Another three minutes, three and a half minutes to get the supplies in. All right, let's get the slingers. And now it's asking us to acquire tires. Okay. So we have the time. Okay. Wait. And I'm going to start scouting the only other available province, okay? Which will take eight and a half minutes, okay. All right, let's grab Tyre. Now Tyre has one, two, three, four, five sectors, okay? Oops, sorry. Okay. Uh, let's get supplies. Now, keep in mind, we just added two military units, unattached slingers, okay? And the reason I did not rebuild the eighth spear, because I knew I was going to get the slingers, okay? And I'm going to use the slingers because they can be effective at range, okay, in distance. My opposition are three warriors and one spear fighter, okay? Again, to increase my odds of winning, I use the infiltrate, pay the fee, and now I'm going to attack with six Two fighters and two slingers. You can see the extended range that they have. Now, if a slinger is standing on top of a rock like this one, okay. You will gain additional power. This is a bush, then it gets a plus two. Now watch. It gets a plus one by standing on top of a rock. But he's too far from able to reach. 
any of my opponents. I have to speak in here. And they can at least yet. Let's see if they can reach in the next one. Yes, they can. Alright, so what I will do is move back so they cannot be reached on the next wave. This guy's okay. Only two guys can be reached right now. <coughs> so I really need to move two guys back. Just making sure. He cannot be reached. He needs to move back. Now he can reach the other guy, but the other guy cannot reach him right now because of the guy in front of him. So he's moving back anyway. See? And another man units can be reached. He can be reached, so he's gonna hit. Okay, so I've eliminated one unit without suffering any losses. Okay, but now both of my slingers can be reached. So the smart thing to do is move back. Why am I moving back? Because I want to use strategy. They're all behind a wall of spear fighters. So they cannot be reached because the slinger defense capability is very limited. Okay? Now, none of my opponents are using terrain to their advantage. So, I'm going to do that. I can grab these bushes. He's going to plus two and attack. Now notice the first time I attacked, I got hit. Second unit that attacked does not suffer any consequences from hitting. So I'm going to hit him again. Now I've eliminated two units with very minimal damage to one of my units. Okay. Now I'm going to place this guy here. So I've got a wall of four units to protect. What are they protecting? My slingers! And here's what I got. He's hit. 
So he's very injured. So now he's behind the wall as well. And this guy's hit. So that's his big idea. Why? Because I got two slingers. Or protected by four units for healthy, full strength. Okay? I don't need to attack. I mean, if I attack, I will probably win. But I want to show you the advantage of using smart defense. The way Muhammad Ali used to do the rope a dope. Okay? Ta da! I win the battle. I've got two units which have been heavily damaged. So what? I just need time to rest and come back. And none of my units have been killed. Now that's strategy and smart tactics. Okay, as you can see, that was one sector. I got four more to go. And that's basically what I'm going to do, but there's no reason to run the tutorial. At the same time, I actually gained a hundred supplies by the rewards. And here you can see my uh, spear fighters ready to produce. But so are my slingers. So I'm going to add a slinger. And this guy will take me about 30 minutes. Oh no, this was spear fighter, sorry. No, slinger. Yeah. Yeah, 30 minutes to produce a slinger. Okay. As you can see, the 100 supplies that it got as a reward for attacking that sector satisfied the requirement to provide supplies for this quest even though I did not collect the supplies that I did create. So I need to build three trails and I need to acquire tar. Okay. See you in my next video.